Fige Lembalula questioned o Jacob Zuma and EFF and saying hi they were there saying that they must recognize Jacob Zuma eh blah 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 right there and I stood there for a minute and I said to myself wait was it wrong for for them to say Jacob Zuma must be recognized I don't think so because he's a head of state at the end of the day you are is a former head of state so um just like uh, I've seen it before where when president um look khadama from a president khadama mutlant is in the house when from a president tabon peg is in the house they get the recognition so why will figure and balula deviate from the fact that president jacob zuma just like the other two former head of states that have already been mentioned they must be recognized same applies with ramaphosa if he gets, if he goes out of power by the virtue of him being a former head of states he will then need look there will be a need for him to be recognized so Um, I, I truly don't understand where they are coming from, but we'll go through that. He look, but before he gets there, he talks about also um, the Communist Party that lashes against the ANC big time. They are saying that the reason we are where we are it is because of the ANC right now going into coalition with it, it, look ETA. It, it's called the Grand Coalition, which they when they are saying it's not a coalition, it's a government of national unity, which we know by the leaked letters that it's just a, just the same thing. There is a coalition between the DA and the ANC. We all know based on the leaked letters. I've done multiple videos of that. I don't need to go back and teach you or tell you the same thing. Guys, that is a coalition between the DA government and ANC that they said. If I were to remind you, they said if people reject their coalition between DA and the ANC, change the name, right? Call it something else, but in principle, will still be in a coalition. Do, do, have you forgotten about that? Today, Figueroa Mbalola is coming here to to look to disagree and to try and run away from that reality. But the fact is, uh, fact will always be fact, and fact remains fact. Whether we like the fact or we don't like the fact, facts are not changed by our circumstances, nor are changed by emotions or perception of it. Facts remain facts, and the fact at this moment is that uh, the relationship that exists between the DA and the ANC it speaks of itself. For instance, look at the the look at the the, look at the DA how it behaves. It never behaves like any other political party that has been invited into the GNU. It behaves like Uh, it is the author of the G, and you have said that multiple times. So, uh, when you attack the EFF and the A, look at the MK party on such basis, really, uh, guys, I don't understand. Like me, I'm yes. You wanna me? I'm yes. Uh, me, I'm yes. But there's one thing that I do know, which you sort of need to do, and it. Uh, This is the thing that you need to do. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean come on, to watch the ads It's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel and you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed but before we can get into the issue of e ANC or of him talking about um controversies as well as EFF party we need to talk about first when he says that we welcome the immediate priority identified by president's opening of the parliament address which reflects the priorities identified in the ANC 2024 manifesto to advance the building of united non-racial and non-sexist democratic and uh, prosperous south africa which i ask right Uh, the same president that says he's building a is building um is building an adva uh, look and advance the building of uh, uh look united inverted commas non-racial inverted commas non-sexist inverted commas 
democratic and pro prosperous South Africa, inverted commas. Right there, there's a, a lot of conversation that you need to have. When you talk about unity, uh, where is unity when there is Orania that wants to be a, an independent state in the inside the state? Where is unity there? So the the idea that he's advancing that, but he the very same guy, um, the look e oh, Grunewald, that party, ne? FF Plus agree. Look, said that Ramaphosa ha had agreed to recognize Orania as a state within a state. So what then do you want to tell me? Which united? Because these people, they want to use their own currency, they want to use their own things there. What unity are you talking about? Right there, the man is found wanting. Hey, guys. It's always nice to say nice words, but the practicality of it is just something else. Listen to this one. The three strategic priorities outlined by President uh, respond to the most banning local challenges face, uh, facing our uh, facing. Uh, our nation and its people. He doesn't say, listen to the lies, listen to the lies, listen to these lies that are detected here. The national economy, um, uh, uh, wait, wait, the national economy has stagnated in terms of econom uh, economic, economic um, expansion, economic transformation and inclusion. Thus, um, failing to produce the outcome wealth distribution um, uh, envisioned by the National uh, Democratic Revolution. President how uh, 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 present low rate of investment um, uh, all those lies. Let, let's leave this one. Then he says this one. Let's do this one. These economic challenges have significantly uh, hindered our progress towards achieving equitable and inclusive growth and development. The liberation of African and Africa in particular and black people in general uh, from, political, uh, from political and economic uh, bondage uplifting the quality of life or, like, of all South Africans and especially uh, working class and poor, he said. Uh, again, you're saying that you're talking about... The, 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 you see, if you listen to this, it's a very good speech um, doing it. But listen, I think Ramaphosa is the last person to be talking about doing these things. He's the last, 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 last person. He cannot be talking about doing these things. He can't. He can't because I, to, I asked you this question. What has Ramaphosa done in the previous five years? You couldn't tell me. Why? Because you don't know what he has done. But he's been a president anyway. What has the man done? So when you talk, talk, look, when you come with these nice words of liberating people, black people, what, what those are ideas, except they be practicalized. It remains an idea. Well, you can't say whose time has come. Where? Of course. Given the ideological range represented in the in parliament, there will be disagreement represented in their colorful uh, rhetoric and and a pretense we had yesterday uh, uh, that some of their some for their own survival and uh, exposing their own political bankruptcy want to pre look want to present the ANC having sold out the people Balula say referring to Malema and Lopez uh, accusation in parliament that president Ramaphosa sold out the people if Ramaphosa did not sold out the people, what has he done? How do you bring water and oil together, expect it to coexist? Has it ever happened before? I've never seen in any zoo where they take, um, where they take an animal such as your. How can I say it? Uh, maybe let's say they take a pig. You know, and then they take a lion and they place it together. You know what's going to happen. The lion is going to chow the pig. It's just given. So, in the case where Ramaphosa then decided to take the two and say it should coexist, what do you expect? But let's proceed. Of course, given a lot of range represented in parliament, okay, we've already dealt with the one. The ANC will speak for itself when their own uh, anchor nationalism and backwardness and uh, inconsistent constitute the betrayal of the people. Even during the sixth administration, 
they consistently voted with the party with, with the party they now despise against progressive policies introduced by African National Congress. Okay. He says, on the other extreme, the spectrum of liberal and conservative, there are those with us who cannot deny the moral and the just cause of redress um, set out by the Constitution. And yet they, are, they continue to want to cling to the uh, local privilege to deny universal health coverage to the majority and to prevent our school from providing equal op local opportunities to all. Right here, uh, this part, we'll come back to, we'll, go, we'll come, don't worry, we will arrive where we, we, it's directly talking to the MK party as well as the EFF part. At this moment, um, what, we are, what we are talking about, what we are seeing, what we are hearing, um, you know, if you read the last paragraph, you listen and you kind of feel like we are talking about a DA here. Yeah, we are talking about a DA. He's taking a jab at a DA, but in a very subtle way where it's not going to be seen that he's taking a look. But let me leave here. Uh, okay, he continues to say, uh, he then say, it is for these reasons, having resolved to the option of government of national unity, as the uh, last risk option, we in, look. We entered the minimum program of the uh, of the government of national unity and the uh, seven administration reflected priority of the ANC manifesto. Um, a, a manifesto. Uh, ten political local ten parties who signed the statement of intent committed themselves to the minimum program. Oh, if. This is true. I am telling you, rest assured, DA is the first political party to take short left and glorify itself. Uh, Mbalula, Mbalula doesn't help at all because Zila says this, Mbalula says that. Both of them representing two political parties that are in the GNU. Government of National Confusion. So, it doesn't come as a surprise that now he sees it as a, a viable option that the DA agreed to. Well, DA has told us what they have agreed to, and that is never to vote against Ramaphosa. They are very clear on that. one. They will never vote against Ramaphosa. But this one, and yeah. Hmm. Angas, Angas, the government of national unity is not melting. Not when, uh, where, wherein everybody is going to agree with what we do. Do you think that the TA opposition uh, to the look, to the Bella Bill, as well as the NRH is going to stop because they are in the government of national unity? But the fact of the matter is that we use the six million votes that we have got to proceed to to implement. These policies within the GNU says Mbalula. I don't know. Speaking about MK party and EFF, maybe that's the, the last thing we need to talk about because I. Uh -uh. MK party and EFF says, said on look, such as uh, look, who says other such as MK party. EFF and MK party had rejected the GNU because they wanted a marriage. They wanted a marriage. We don't have a marriage. What the EFF and Zuma want is a marriage which, which is not really uh, defined. West of, of with Zuma, he was there. I saw him there yesterday. They were, they were, they were, they were demanding he must be recognized. Like a uh, uh, Dalai Lama, uh, so on. We are not about that. We are about transforming the lives of the people for the better. Hmm. Yeah, you know, some people speak nice words and do the opposite of the nice words. This one. Then he goes into the the look. He says. They don't debate the issue that the parliament, look, that the president put on the table. 
they look at it and even argue for their case but they are libelous and derogatory and attacking our allies are community communist party kosato and sanko all these all these people who are here in parliament who are very colorful in their rhetoric are not our friends they decided to break the anc and divide it he zuma decided to break us and reduce us below 40% and it look and doesn't have a program of action of what he's going to do except sending questionable judge to parliament a very questionable character just spit on the face of the of south africans which south africans because if you say south africans you imply that people did disagree with mk but if you say south africans and people voted for mk party especially in kzn unless you are saying people of kzn are not south africans then i will then you make it point but if they are south africans then you can't say spitting on people of, of south africa no you just happens to disagree with the man but the fact of the matter is he's not spitting on the faces of south africans because the people that voted for him are south africans too so when you say south africans you must use that that word right there use it very carefully because it is the same you are echoing almost the same sentiment echoed by o look o o o o lo this guy ne o o look this guy ne i forgot his name uh we quite the mentash who labeled zulu people as tribalist just because they voted mk part that's the problem we have here that's the problem we have man as for the labelers and everything we are delivering what are you is it guys there's something that i i said to you vote for ramaphosa low trading will come back well it came back but not as low trading the difference it came back as a load reduction but there's that word there load that you need to see the common word there is load that means something is lo- overloaded so they are why is suddenly escom is overloaded that needs a, re- a load reduction told you vote for amaposa you did it so rip the consequences he says he brings stop and even sends him to the J, jc jsc judicial service judicial service commission just to show us that he's got no respect for us uh, and uh, for us and for the constitutionalism and then spit on the faces on all spit on our faces he bring uh, you bring him to parliament and say lead these people <laughs> yeah ne balula balula was okay for days i call my guy one like for days because a, you'll ask him about pala pala he's not going to answer you he's not going to answer i'm telling you he's not going to answer you but nevertheless it's fine he doesn't say i'm happy as a as a democrat Uh, as a democrat to participate in the the local discourse and lead a party line because the party does not have a uh, meaning except grievance even when he speak he is very angry hey think to le e wona ke le akufunda ku akufunda ku comment ake la think sure le we will perhaps need to interrogate what he means that the anc has got uh, has got a dominant fiction of l- neoliberalism without suppressing its view but what the party must understand is that the anc is exercising its right on organization by the way just on the side note uh what filan balula said just on the side note please note that there are people within the anc who are eagerly waiting to go on the national conference why because they want to vote out vote ramaphosa that same figure in balula who's saying ramaphosa is spitting on the people on the on the on, on south africans faces there are people many people in the anc are saying we are going to vote we are going to make sure that this man doesn't remain in power 
he even himself said no people shouldn't rush for that no come down comrade come down people people are tired are saying we're going to we want to go to the national conference we want to vote for a new leader so it's one thing to say this but while the reality is the actually it's actually the opposite of what you are saying 